Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news of the latest dairy auction. Today's event brought the pause some analysts were expecting. Overall prices were down 3.1% in US dollars, but they were down 6.1% in New Zealand dollars, and that makes it more than just a minor adjustment. The core whole milk powder price dropped 4.5% to 2,694 US dollars, and what is notable about this, it is well below what the NZX derivative market was signalling just yesterday. The fall in whole milk powder prices in New Zealand currency is down 7.6%. Since the last auction, the New Zealand dollar has strengthened by almost 4%, and that is why these auction results are doubly disappointing. The New Zealand dollar dropped about 50 basis points on the news and has stayed down, but is still 3.3% higher than in early the early October auction. This is a case where the currency is accentuating the problem rather than helping mitigate it. In the US, data out overnight reported strengthening housing starts, but also soft growth in building permits. The house building industry is healthy, but the signals ahead are variable. Still, the building permit data is 4.7% higher than the same month a year ago. The strength is in the West. Demand for rental housing is boosting the numbers. In Canada, the federal government elections there have brought a change of government with the Conservative NDP coalition ousted by the Liberals. That there is a change is no real surprise, but what is, is the strength of the Liberals win in the East, especially the poor maritime provinces. The Conservatives won the West, the Liberals the East. Government has always been difficult in Canada when there's been these sharp regional differences. The first priority of the new government looks like it'll be tax cuts. And prior to the election, Liberal leader Trudeau expressed support for the TPP deal. In China, the scale and effect of their economic transition is turning some data on its head. Until recently, analysts looked to the energy usage, electricity in particular, for signs of how the real economy was performing. But with the shift away from heavy industry, their energy to GDP ratio is changing rapidly. And in the past year, electricity use grew only 1%, while output there grew 6.9%. Things are on the move in China. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield benchmark continued its overnight slow rise higher, and it's currently at 2.07%. The US benchmark oil price is marginally lower again at just over $45 a barrel, and the Brent benchmark is just on $48 a barrel. The gold price is slightly higher in trading in London and New York, now at $1,179 an ounce. New Zealand dollar starts the day lower after the dairy auction. It is currently at 67.5 US cents, 93.1 Aussie cents and 59.5 Euro cents. The TWI is down to 71.7. I'm David Chaston. That was 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.